Hello and welcome to Lost in South Oz. Today we return to Zananda Station and Goods Yard. Why? Because there were um, sightings that we didn't put in part one. So part two, we're going to look at that. As we're approaching the goods platform and building there on the platform, um, there would have been a space, like a corridor for the vehicles to enter, and then another smaller building behind that, to the right, where the fence area is. Um, it had a flat roof, looked very similar to this building, except it had a door and two windows, just some office works building or something. Um, in the last footage I took, I didn't show you the rear of the um, goods platform, there's a loading dock, and this loading dock was where the trucks would have backed up and uh, basically would have unloaded and any of the smaller items would have been stored in that warehouse there. As you walk past and have a look at these, this loading dock, that image there is where all the larger um, warehouses and works buildings would have been. And up there there would have been like a sharp tooth roof building. Um, and then behind that, um, an apex roof building running alongside it, facing the um, actual um, yard. As you walk around the side of the, um, of the goods platform, we see the crane foundations. A circular uh, track in there um, where the crane would have sat and rotated with a hand crank um, and, and people and staff would have winched heavier items onto the train. Um, there was a third track that went behind us and went down alongside of those um, larger buildings. Yeah. The siding we're interested in today is the one that um, the turntable would have come on. So to begin, we look at the uh, goods platform. The goods platform, the track would have came alongside that, past the crane and veer to the right, past these trees and heads towards the clump of trees to the right of the actual road we're working on now. Um, it's very evident after walking through this corridor that the, those buildings were both um, corrugated iron and they were made of brick and they had concrete and what the staff of uh, uh, when they demolished them, the workmen minced up all these brick and concrete and deposited it on site. And these sleepers are basically buried in the remnants of the buildings that have been demolished. And obviously as time has gone on, the trees have grown, there's got two, three, four, maybe five concrete sleepers. And they're not like the, the normal width of um, a track bed, they're two to three widths wide because there's a track that has re-entered the um, corridor and the one that we're following now so they would have had a switch on there um, and now we're looking back yeah, that's where the buildings would have been the large buildings on my right so we've got two tracks going down here, um, one heading towards the trees, the other one basically following that roadway. I'm struggling with this new, new DJI gimbal. It's the first time I've used it. Both tracks are coming here, side by side, parallel. And 
because uh, right here we can see uh, a depression in the ground, there was another small building in there. I think later I show that there's a little bit of brick on the ground. And um, that's the remnants of that that hadn't been crushed up. Uh, that tree laying across on the other tree, those pine trees, um, that's where the track bed went straight through. Oh, there we go. There's that bit of um, brick laying there. There was another small building in here. I don't know what its use was, but it was the end of the track that I said was parallel to us on the on the right there. So the main the main line going to the turntable is in front of us, going under that tree that's fallen to the side. I'm not going to walk under that. Um, I'm not that silly. Safety first. So I walk around this. And what I'm going to show you now is where um, the track that ran from the goods platform re would re-enter um, the main line somewhere here in this flat area down here. You have to realise that a lot of the rubber was deposited and it's raised the level of the actual track bed. Walking down here to our right under these trees is a large um, hole was left by when they removed the turntable. You have to picture the turntable, it's 60 foot, 67 foot if you include the concrete, circular with a steel bridge on top. That steel bridge has tracks uh, where a, a, they could have driven a loco a steam loco originally and the purpose of that is to rotate the loco to face it in the other direction so it would have driven in they rotated it and drove it back out that enables the loco to be um, put on the other end of the train and driven back out of the station so there you see the concrete um, I'm looking for any more debris you can see it's all built up they've the rubble's been left there when they've removed it. In the, in the background would have been this, where the siding went to Chateau Tananda and Chateau Tananda is there. The, just beyond me is um, a, a, another um, cro level crossing, um, the back of the yard. And this area here we're looking at right now, there would be a siding going into Chateau Tananda. On the, it would have led off the other side of the tracks. Um, and going back, just to have a look at that concrete that's laying there. Um, this turntable was huge. Massive, huge concrete circle. Um, and it's such a useful item. Um, I've, I've mentioned that uh, we went to another station, there was what's called a triangle. A triangle takes a lot more space than a turntable to turn a train. You need a, need a lot more real estate. In here, 60 foot triangles, huge. Very, very space efficient. So we look, we're walking across what's left of the um, turntable um, basin and over here um, the kids the local kids have um, um, been digging and made some sort of um, like jumps for push bikes out of all the rubble um, there's bits of concrete here, a surveyor's peg, and there's quite a few surveyor's pegs. There's a bit of concrete, like um, it's like a thin sleeper. Um, it might have been used for like you know landscaping or something. And across here, looking back at the entrance to the the turntable, 
Thank you for coming on the journey of Tanana Goods Yard and Turntable. Please like and subscribe. And